Hello, and today I wanted to talk about another Drupal concept, which I thought I'd always shot a video on, but evidently I hadn't, or at least I hadn't published it. What I wanted to talk about was input formats in Drupal. Drupal has a very sophisticated permission system that we can use at our disposal, and part of that permission system is allowing people to input different different types of data and a data set that the user can input is known as an input format um, this can do things like restrict the tags a user can enter for, for security reasons and just do a whole bunch of stuff so um i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you that today i'm on my little demonstration site here and I, I've just opened a piece of content and um, and it's this page here and if you scroll down on the editing form of most pieces of content you'll see by default unless you've done hook form alters this input format drop down box and by default you'll see filtered HTML which will be the one that is selected and full HTML. This WordPress format one is one that was added by a module when I showed you that Word WordPress migration module. But each of them tells you certain things you can do. Like it tells you the tags you're allowed to uh, tags you're allowed to spend in about line breaks and stuff. But you can customize all this and you can customize it based on Drupal roles or permissions like whatever you want to do so what I'm going to do is put this on full filtered HTML and you can see the tags that are allowed an anchor tag an emphasis tag a strong tag a site tag a code tag an, un an ordered list tag an ordered list, list item, definition list, definition term, and DD. Um, so let's put that on filtered HTML and then stick a. Let's just say, for example, we stick. Um, H1 tag in there and we know that's not allowed by the input format and then if we save it we all notice that um, there's no the tag has been stripped away from that text and now it's just a generic thing if if we go back to the code view the h1 tag will still be there but they've all been stripped out because it's not allowed in the filtered html input format so this is really powerful we could let all users have full html access and make that the default and if you switch it to full HTML, um, my H1 tag should be allowed in there, but it's not because it's in the summary view. But if I Just do that and then save it. It's trying to restore the input format, but if I change the input format back to full HTML.
I go ahead and view that. Um, it's not working now, but I, f I think you get the point that that should change to allow my H1 tag in there. Um, it, it's. But what if we didn't want to give the? This is where it gets flexible. What if we didn't want to give the user um, f full HD access to run everything on our site and certainly not PSP access? Because if you do the full HD format, that will give them PHP access as well. Um, but what if we wanted to just add a few more tags and change a few of the options? Um, like, for example, for a client site that I did, um, I wanted to let him have an H3 tag because that was important for his site for the most for the most frequent and for today or today now. So, so what do you want to do? Well, well, this is where it's the Some, some, that was a lot of my primary, 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 prim